there's nobody that I respect more in the fight game than Robert Whitaker. Like to me, he defines what a professional is when it comes to the octagon. Had him on uh, UFC 225 years ago in Chicago, one of my old shows, and I had asked him about the Dolly incident. If you remember that, when Conor McGregor threw the Dolly into the train in New York City, and as calmly as could be, Rob just looked at me and he goes, "You know, you, you're in the fight game. You're going to fight. Just wait." Like he he never seems to get overly mm -hmm. uh, emotional about a, a, an opponent. He just looks yeah. at it like all business. And you saw it yesterday in the weigh-in. Easily makes way. You look at his opponent in Paulo Costa, and sometimes I go, the only thing holding him back is red wine and a mirror. But he looks mm -hmm. like he actually made weight, right? There's no controversy there. Kyle, let me start with you on this fight. How do you see it playing out? Because when you get a, a motivated and in-shape Paulo Costa – against the guy in Rob Whitaker, who I love, but the chin didn't really hold up last time out against DDP. I wonder if maybe Rob is a little bit too big a favorite here. Um, Bruno nailed it. That was a fantastic accent, actually. Really well done. You know, just like, like New Zealand. Like, New Zealand in the hands house. off to you. So what I see here is you two doing a shot next week because Robert Whitaker is going to beat Paulo Costa. Okay. Oh, I have backed. Pa no one loved Paulo Costa more than me. And it came a lot from my Israel Adesanya hate a few years ago. I was so tired of watching his boring five round decision wins with 40 significant strikes. And then Paulo Costa is knocking out Uriah Hall. He beat uh who did he beat uh kelvin gastelum or no it wasn't kelvin gastelum it was who the hell was it i can't remember who it was but he beat wait, wait, someone for... else uh Paolo? Yoel romero when he yo oh, okay, romero he has 118 yeah. significant strikes yep. and it just looks like hey he's on his way and he was more impressive against yoel romero than adesanya was so i'm just like i'm jumping Paulo costa is finally gonna knock israel adesanya's block off and then you see when Paulo costa actually gets in there with somebody who's good he gets the crap beaten out of him. He was absolutely stomped on. Then he loses to Marvin Vittori. And then he can't even knock out Luke Rockhold, who I think all three of us might be able to put Luke Rockhold away at this point. Like, done. Just kidding. Luke Rockhold, do not kick my ass in a bar if I see no, you. No, no, no. I don't want any problems. Absolutely. I absolutely don't want that smoke. <laughs> I just can't back Paulo Costa. This guy backs out of more fights against good fighters than he than he fights. He hasn't beaten in outside of Yoel Romero, which I guess that was an okay win back in uh, 2019. He hasn't really beaten anybody. I don't think he's all that impressive. Robert Whitaker, I think, can out -rest. What's Paulo Costa going to do on the ground when Robert Whitaker takes him down? Nothing. Paulo Costa looks like he does the Kyle fight diet, which I would be doing, which is just, you know, and again, reckless speculation here, reckless speculation. I do not know this for sure, but he looks like he's just jacked out to the moon, but I've never <laughs> seen any reason to believe that he's going to go out there skill for skill and beat Robert Whitaker, who I think is one of the top, you know, especially in this division, one of the top five guys of all time. I think he still has it. I know that Dreykus was able to put him away in the second round, but for me, Robert Whitaker, all business. He's got, I think he's the better striker, not the more powerful striker. We know Paulo Costa is certainly the yeah. more powerful striker, but I think he's a better striker, the better wrestler, the better grappler. For me, it's Robert Whitaker, win by decision. I don't see him knocking out Costa and you're getting it at plus 115. For all the reasons that Kyle mentioned here, Maddie, I, I want to be on the Rob Whitaker side. Again, one of my favorite fighters. I love the way he approaches the fight game. It's like everything is all business, nothing personal. It's all, and, 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 Paolo, you know, like I mentioned, he likes to take his shirt off. I think he likes to to show off and, you know, show the specimen that he is, like a, like oh, a professional hot. wrestler. He's smoking hot. Right. And then sometimes he doesn't take he, like doesn't take it seriously. But I did yeah. see him at the weigh-in, and all of a sudden, like, my biggest concern was today, Friday. Like, how is he going to look in the scale? He looked a little bit emaciated making uh, 185, but he made it. And so, to me, that, that says he's taking the fight at least seriously. He's going to rehydrate uh, before tomorrow night in Anaheim. To me, it's a bigger puncher. Against a guy that, yes, he won the first round against GDP last time out in Rob, but then he, he couldn't take the hands any longer. He gets in a firefight for 15 minutes, and I don't see him wrestling. I, I agree with Kyle. If Robert Whitaker wrestles, that's a good pathway to victory because maybe Powell says, I don't want to be down here on the ground and fight takedowns. And but if he stands and trades, I think we have a live dog. How do you see it playing out? Yeah, I'm, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not falling for the Robert Whitaker trap again. I did it with Tristan Plessy. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. When you look at these two guys side by side, you have to, like, remove your bias from the equation. Like, Robert Whitaker is a 39% takedown accuracy. Like, I don't see him wrestling and, and taking a big guy on Paulo Costa down and holding him down. Then you look at the significant strikes per minute. 
One guy lands six and a half per minute. The other guy lands four. Which one do you think is which? Well, I have an idea where this is going now. Paulo Costa lands six, <laughs> Paulo Costa lands six and a half strikes per minute compared to Robert Whitaker's four. Then you look at you just look at everything across the board here. The strike and accuracy. Paulo Costa sixty percent to 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 Whitaker forty two percent. Like so, like to me, it's like yeah, I get it. I, like our bias tells us that Whitaker is better analytically everywhere. But Costa is actually better in a lot of different areas. And I'm going to go a different direction here because I think most people are like, all right, I'll take Whitaker or I'll take Costa to land a big shot. I'm going to take Costa on the scorecards. I love the number, plus 500 to win a decision. We just saw him do it against Luke Rockhold. I know it was kind of we were frowning upon the fact that he couldn't get Luke Rockhold out, but it was in altitude, and Rockhold is a tough guy. And – Whitaker has historically been pretty durable. You know, we we do have some concerns about his chin, but do plus he's finishing almost everyone. You know, so the way I look at this fight is I'm going to give me five to one on the guy who analytically has some of the better output in a three round fight. So I'm going to take Paulo Costa on the scorecards here at plus five hundred. I love the number. I, and I believe uh, Bruno wants to know if we've got a shot bet on this. I'm going to have to figure this out because you've got Whitaker by decision, Kyle. At plus dollar fifteen, I've got Paolo just straight up, kind of double chance here whether it's decision and or KO plus dollar ninety five, and then look at Maddie with the five to one play via decision, which is not a pathway that I saw, but yeah. you know if he gets a knockdown and can't finish Rob, that could certainly come into play. So Kyle, I'm going to leave it to you. How do you want to do this shot bet? Because I'm down. I really I, and I again love Rob, but yeah. I just think he's way overpriced here. I think it's fair if I, if it's a two to one, you know, I do two, you guys do one because Rob is about what a minus two twenty favorite, right? Yeah. So you know, we'll just yeah. we'll let's just uh, if you guys are fine with that, we'll make it two to one. If Costa wins, I do two. If Rob wins, I do. I feel pretty good about it, so I'm not even nervous. And you know, it's not like I there mind taking Maddie a couple Warren. shots, anyways. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and by the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it for 2024 two shot maximum for the show. I don't want any any of us <laughs> having to take more than two. So it's on <laughs> the line. Kyle's, yeah, <laughs> Kyle's got That's good. two to one. So he's got the favorite here in Rob. If Rob wins, Maddie and I are each doing a shot together next week. If Kyle wins, or Kyle loses, rather, Kyle's doing two throughout the course of the show. Doesn't have to do yeah. them all at the same time. We're trying I'll to probably just hammer a double speak. right at the top. We'll just get a double right we'll at probably the top. Will. <laughs> Why not? That is the way you normally do. So that That's is right. an official shot bet. It is on the line, gentlemen.